Today is episode one in my series all about mortgages. I am going to talk today specifically about our mortgage, our interest rate, and what it actually costs you to finance a home. We refinanced our home recently and we are now going to save over a hundred and fifty thousand dollars just by refinancing. So let's get into the details. I haven't come up with a name for this series yet, but I'm excited to talk to you guys all about mortgages. I know that a lot of my audience is actually going through this same process where they're trying to speed up paying off their mortgage quicker. So I'm happy to kind of talk in more detail about our mortgage and about the process we are getting to in order to pay off our home by 2025. That is why I do a lot of the frugal things that I do and I do a lot of uh, money saving so that we can throw as much money as possible at this mortgage. So I'm gonna have all of the details up here on the screen, that way you can see the real numbers. Now, these are just gonna be rounded numbers um, because there's obviously pennies and cents, which do matter in time. Pennies and cents always matter. Pick them up off the ground like my husband if you see them. So in the beginning of 2018, we purchased this house and the cost of it was $345. Um, we put 20% down, so we put about $69,000 down on it, and our mortgage, the amount we're financing, is $276,000. The interest rate that we locked in was low at that time, so that was 4.25%, and we did a 30-year conventional mortgage. So our monthly payments are $1,358. Now, a lot of people don't ever take a look at the actual details about how much interest they are going to pay if they keep that mortgage for 30 years, and most people don't even stay in their homes for 30 years. But regardless, if you stay in the same house, you're still paying a lot of interest on any house that you have if you have a mortgage. And obviously at some point you've got to pay something off or you're just going to be making payments for the rest of your life. So we added up how much we would be paying for this house or for the mortgage that we took out if we didn't make any extra payments and we kept this mortgage for 30 years at 4.25%. So remember, the mortgage was 276000 Now if we kept this mortgage, we would end up paying a total of $492,000. That is a finance charge of over $215,000. So remember, the mortgage was 276. The interest is 215. That is 77% of the actual cost of the mortgage. You're you're almost paying double just to finance the house. It, it literally made me sick when we looked at these numbers and oftentimes people don't look at these numbers. Oftentimes what people do is just figure out how much house they can afford and how much monthly payment they can do. And then they're like, oh, okay, let's do that. Rather than looking at the long-term details about what is the actuality of what you're paying for the thing that you're financing. So here are the numbers from the last three years of what we've actually paid down on that mortgage. Now you've got principal and interest. And let me go back to my monthly payment. That monthly payment does not include PMI, which is property mortgage insurance, which is such a waste of money, people. And I understand if you want to get into a house and you don't have you know 20% down, then you're going to have to pay PMI. But simply said, PMI is you're paying for the insurance for that mortgage company. So if you default on that loan, then that mortgage company is not screwed essentially. So it literally is of no benefit to you and you may as well just be putting your money down the garbage disposal. PMI can be anywhere from just under 100 to over $200 depending upon the loan. So we made sure that we put over 20% 20, 20 down, that way we didn't have that. We also do not escrow our taxes or property, or property insurance or taxes in our monthly payment. We did that at the beginning, but the company honestly kept screwing it up and was trying to value our house for more than it was and we were getting money back. And I am not of the mind that I want to get money back from you because that means you held on to my money and didn't pay me interest for it and no. So in just under three years, we have paid a total of $58,000 on principal. So on the actual balance of the 276. We've paid the mortgage company $29,000 in interest. So they've made a good amount of money off of that. So for the last three years, we've seen the market with interest rates just go way down. And every time that we look at it, we'll run the numbers because what you wanna make sure of is that it's not gonna cost you 
more in closing cost to refinance and that the percentage difference between your interest rate is actually uh, a beneficial to you in the long run. Because if you just want to cut your 30 year loan to a 15 year loan, then all you'd have to do is pay double payments. If your payment is 1400, then you just pay $2,800 a month. So finally in the uh, early winter of 2020, we found an interest rate and a loan that would actually help us out tremendously. So now it's important to note that Prior to when we got our 4.25% interest rate and when we just refinanced, we both had well over 800 credit scores. So we got the, the best credit score and our debt to income is actually um, was nothing but our house because we don't have any other debt. So that's one of the things that they look at when they're um, seeing if you can get that best rate is your credit score and your debt to income. How much debt you actually have versus the income that you make. So we went ahead and took the balance of the loan, which was $220,000, and refinanced that. We went through a, a mortgage broker that someone had recommended who had done an amazing job. So you can see here, we're going from a 4.25% to a 2.65%. We're also going from a 30-year mortgage to a 15-year mortgage. Now, what's the difference in the payment of that? So on our 30-year mortgage at 4.25%, our payment was $1,358. On a 15 year mortgage at 2.65%, our payment is $1,479. Now keep in mind, the payment for $1,358 was based on $276,000 and the payment for $1,479 is based on $220,000. However, it's really still very close. I mean, it's only a little over $100 a month extra, but the numbers that I'm going to show you next are the ones that will actually show you why we looked at this and we knew it was a great idea. So if we kept this mortgage for 15 years, I'm going to compare it to the 30 year mortgage and we paid this interest rate and then we paid just the minimum payments, we would end up paying $268,000 for the loan for the $220,000 loan. So we would pay a total of $48,000 in interest. So think about that. The previous 30 year mortgage, it was $215,000 in interest. This is just $48,000 in interest. It's all about the interest over time. That is a massive amount of money that I want back in my pocket. So whereas the first loan, we were paying interest equivalent to 77% of the loan, this loan, we are paying interest equivalent to 21% interest compared to the loan. But that is not our plan. As you guys know, we plan to pay off our mortgage by the year of 2025. The sooner you pay it off, the less interest that you pay. And that is on anything. The less interest you pay on your car loan, your student loans, your credit cards. Now, somebody said in a previous video, you know, you really don't need to focus on paying off your mortgage. You need to make sure that you're actually, you know, putting money into your retirement and making sure you're shoring up that. We are already doing that. So no worries there. We're already putting over 15% of our income in our retirement. You know, being frugal to me, I don't think is being cheap or uh, living with nothing. Even minimalism isn't living with nothing. Minimalism is going to be different for everybody. And minimalism, what people will tell you it is, it's, it's living with the things that you have in within your home or that you use the thing should serve a purpose or it should bring you joy. So these plants back here, you know, I guess you could say they serve a purpose for decor, but they also bring us joy. I mean, they're just, it's nice to have plants. <laughs> frugalism to me, I call it frugalism, is is fun. So I think a lot of people on my channel also feel that way. We just are tired of wasting our money on things that don't have a positive return to us. I would rather invest my money so that it can grow and, and work for me so I don't have to work for it. That's a good one. So as I told you guys before, our payoff date, when we put all of this information and we get all this detail from putting it in an amortization schedule and you can find these online anywhere, just, just Google it, okay? And you can put in your loan, um, how much you're paying and the percentage rate. And it'll tell you when your payoff date is if you're in paying more towards the principal. So our previous payoff date goal was in the year of 2025. But that was previous to us refinancing and realizing we were going to save a huge amount of money on interest. So remember, if we continued 
on this mortgage and kept it for 15 years, we would end up paying $48,000 in interest. Well, we have calculated how much money we project we can take from our incomes, um, side jobs, um, you know, uh, just extra, extra anything and put towards our uh, principal each month. So we put that into our calculator and that's also assuming that over the next two, uh, one, one year, two years, three years, we don't have any other income we can put in there, which typically doesn't isn't the case you usually get raises or or you, you you grow some so you end up having a goal and getting there sooner so we put the numbers in the calculator and this is the fun part it says that we are going to have this house paid off by february of 2024 guys it's almost february of 2021 that is three years from now so we will have paid off our mortgage in six years I am so excited. Now, here's the even better part of that. Because we're paying off the loan sooner, we will end up only paying $8,400 in interest. So whereas if we kept this specific loan for 15 years, we would have paid $48,000. We are only going to pay $8,400. That's a $40,000 savings. That's a pretty nice vehicle. So our plan for the year of 2021. Now, because we refinanced, we didn't end up making a payment in December. We won't make one in January, and I don't think we're gonna make one in February. One won't come due until March. I also wanna look at these numbers. So I'm gonna look at these numbers now, and then at the end of the year, I'm gonna see how much we paid off in comparison to what we projected we would pay off for the year. So if we make payments from March of 2021 through December of 2021 per just our base payments, we are estimated to pay $4,700 in interest and $10,000 in principal payments. So for a total of $14,700, if we just make the bare minimum, we are going to be paying towards the mortgage in 2021. And that is not our goal. Remember, we are trying to pay this thing off as soon as possible. So our projections show us paying this year a total of $71,000. That's going to consist of $4,000 in interest and $67,000 in principal. $67,000 in principal. So whereas we should be paying about $14,000, we're going to be paying $71,000. So I'm going to be taking you along this year as we color in our mortgage tracker. So if you haven't seen this before, this is something we keep on our fridge and anybody can do. I literally just took a, um, a clip art uh, of a house. I put it on a piece of paper. I drew some lines on it and I did it in like $10,000 intervals, but this really gives you a good idea and a good picture and a good reminder every single day of what your goal is. So if it's paying off debt, if it's paying off a car loan, this you can do with anything. So I, I really recommend doing this. It's fun to be able to color in every single time we get to another $10,000 interval and then put the date that we did it. So if any of you have any ideas for what I can name this series, I'm kind of at a loss. Um, I, I could call it the mortgage series, um, but maybe something with an M to go with it. If you have any ideas, put those down below. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of an idea that maybe if you haven't already, you need to look at these numbers, maybe look at refinancing to see if you can save that much money. And I think if we can do it, then you can, especially with how currently low those interest rates are. Also, if you guys have any specific detailed uh, content that around mortgage, mortgage payoff that you'd like me to do video on, put that down below. I would love to get some more ideas that I can make into that was the dog shaking his head in case you heard that. I would love to add in some of the things that you are specifically looking for into the episodes in this series. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back for more videos.